my name is Chupa, and I've been asked to talk about the data challenges that our clients face at Calibre Point Risk Advisory and how we help address them. We're a data consultancy focused on financial services, but critically, we consist of ex capital market bankers, so we have an intimate and deep knowledge of our clients' data and their business. We combine this with modern data analytical tools to create what we believe is a versatile and effective approach to dealing with these data challenges. Now, data, of course, in the last few years has seen increasing prominence. But in reality, our clients simply have bad data. They have dirty data, inconsistent data, disparate data, and they spend an awful lot of time moving, modifying or transferring this data to make it useful to them. The data is not ready to be useful yet. So we see instances where clients are faced with inaccessible data warehouses, or they're using Excel to transfer data from one system to the next or they have a new data visualization platform where they don't have the tools to make the data useful to be visualized in the first place. There's just data data everywhere, but not much useful, useful information. And even when there are good systems, the world does move on very, very quickly. A client recently commented to me, the system was great, but two weeks later, some of the data changed and now we're in change request hell. And they're also back in Excel. So at this stage, it's probably worth us looking at the different stages of the life cycle and how we see it at CPRA. That starts off with one, identification of the relevant data. Two, we've got the extraction. Three, cleaning and normalization. Four, we often reconcile and then perform any deduplication that is, that is required. And then five, calculation and any advanced analytics. Six is then simply publishing the varieties of structured output for all the downstream consumers. And it's probably in stages three to five where we're most effective. Take the raw data, apply the business rules, perform your calculations, create business value from that data. And those business rules themselves individually may be very, very simple, but it's the combination of tens, scores, even hundreds of those rules, which can make the data challenge particularly difficult. But if you can get those stages right and automate it, the benefits are manifold. Data security, insight, accuracy, speed, time, cost savings, and potentially all of the above. But this story I've given you is not new. So how do we do things differently? Well, modern data tools allow us as experienced business users to directly see, examine, and touch production data. That means we can see, see where the real data problems actually lie. We can see the effect of our business rules, the effect of our analytics and react to them. And so quickly iterate to the required solution. And all along we're building a multi-channeled living flowchart of the business data and the, and the business processes, which a business user can understand. So that means we can address the use cases I mentioned earlier. We can provide meaningful access to data warehouses. We can eliminate semi-automated Excel-based processes, such as in one case, a, reg a regulatory reporting uh, process that took one client 24 hours and is now reduced to five minutes. We can provide the tools to clean data to make the data visualization platform useful, perform Panama Papers exercises, or even advanced analytics such as invoice percentile analysis to affect revenue uplift. And if we take the components of the data cycle I mentioned before, they all form essential parts of the increasingly common data lineage exercises that we're seeing our clients undertaking. And all of this done is with IT. They love this, it gets the business off their back, it allows them to focus on their strategic programs, and when the time is right, they've got a fully functional model which they can adopt. So how to make data useful? One, make sure you've got the real production data. You can't work on sample data because you have to see where the real world problems lie. You've also got to work on broad client intent, not a spec. There's no point relying upon a detailed guidebook telling you what to do. You've got to see the data yourself and make a judgment call on the data and understand the business intent because data analysis is not about being sophisticated or clever. It's about taking the data and creating business value from it. And also remember, the world changes very, very quickly. A very easy way to lose your new friends with your automated data system is if it can't flexibly and easily react to change. So you have to build and design in a manner which will allow the business user in the future to be able to adopt or modify the process because of changes in data, such as 
for instance, products being reclassified from one part of the product hierarchy to the next. So data doesn't have to be hard. You need to understand it and have the tools to clean it and normalize it, and then you can create value from it.